Good evening and uh, welcome back for our Kingdom Advancement Prayers. I trust that you had an amazing, amazing day today. You know, even as we prepare to usher in the, the weekend. So let us go before the Lord as we pray for the Kingdom Advancement. We are reading from Isaiah 66, 7 to 8. And we see that before she traveled, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child who had had such a thing, who had seen such things. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. So we are praying for explosive church growth. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your master reaper angel cast his sharp sickle into our harvest field to thoroughly reap every soul ordained for salvation all through this year. Lord, we are aware, Jehovah King of all glory, that we are also living in the, in the end times, Jehovah King of all glory, that as you say in your word, O oh God, that the harvest is plenty, Jehovah King of all glory. But the workers are few. So, Father, we are praying for a turnaround, Jehovah God, that there may be an increase in the fields, Jehovah Lord, that your angels, Jehovah King of all glory, you may send, my Father, for the harvest, Jehovah God, to bring souls unto you, Jehovah King of all glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are also praying, according to Revelation 14, 14, and I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud, one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was ripped. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the blood of the Lamb, we cast out every evil beast seeking to manipulate our new, our new converts, O oh God, new members from being established in this church all through this year. Father, because you're sending people away, Jehovah God, because testimonies, my Father, will flow and will cause people to come to church, Jehovah God, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you shall cause them, Jehovah King of all glory, to remain even in our midst, Jehovah King of all glory. Father, thank you because you will cause it to work for our good, Jehovah God, and for the good of the people who are being called into church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are also praying that in the name of Jesus, send your reaper angels into our harvest fields, mobilizing multitudes into this church for their salvation and deliverance through the year, O God. Father, we know that in this season, Jehovah King of all glory, there shall be a hunger and thirst, Jehovah King of all glory, of your word. And as we stand on your word in Matthew 13, 39, which says that the enemy that sold them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels, that, Father, you shall send your reaper angels for the sake of the souls that are meant, Jehovah King of all glory, to be saved. And even for those that hunger and thirst for your word, Jehovah King of all glory, Father, we pray that they shall find refreshment, Jehovah God, within the church in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we also pray that there shall be manifestation of apostolic order, of signs, wonders, and mighty deeds in our services throughout the year, which will, res which will result, Jehovah God, in an influx of souls into the church. And in Acts, Jehovah God, we see that by the hands of the apostles, there were many signs and wonders among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And the believers were added more, while the, while the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women. So, Father, cause there to be signs and wonders, Jehovah King of all glory, that there be manifestations, my Father, of apostolic order, Jehovah God, in our midst, such that, my Lord, people shall be moved, Jehovah God, and pulled into the church, Jehovah King of all glory, because they will see that there is a God who is alive, that there is a God who performs miracles, that there is a God who turns lives around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You so pray, my Father, that let this church continue to experience supernatural growth 
after the order of Acts of the Apostles, thereby turning this church into a city without walls all through this year. Father, we also pray that you may cause our hearts to open, my Father, to other people who may be in need, Jehovah King of all glory, so that there is no feeling of exclusion, Jehovah God, so that we indeed we make you, Jehovah King of all glory, our limit, that even for our personal lives, Jehovah God, you shall be the wall, Jehovah God, that you set up, Jehovah King of all glory. Let us not... Uh, hold back people, Jehovah God, by our perspectives or our attitudes, Jehovah God. But Father, that once they come into the into the community of Christians, Jehovah God, they shall feel that they belong and that they are loved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the month of overflowing grace and we pray for this coming Sunday service that it shall answer to its name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And in Timothy 1, 14, we see that and the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. Lord, we shall not settle for less than exceeding abundant grace, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. There shall be, there, there shall be such an overflow. We shall experience Jehovah God, such an overflow. And as a result, others shall experience too. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed, believed, and trusted. May the Lord bless you. May you have a good evening and have an awesome weekend. See you on Sunday. Bless you.